Look at that lonely tank division right there. That's surrounded. In here there's probably hundreds of thousands of troops too. At least 50,000 here and uh, we have been defeated. They are trying to retreat very hard. They're trying to do that. In here we are further advancing, so 36,000 and there's many more to come. Once again, this is the same batch of HQ units and four fighting divisions. In here we have 25,000 on this province and probably another 50,000 there, so in total there's probably 120,000 troops. These three divisions have broken. What do we have here? We have massive concentration of troops that are most likely not very well supplied. In here, another operation can be started. So we are basically just going to try and surround. How is that going to look right there? Okay, and um, I'll try to leave one division behind at each stage and we'll see if that's doable. In here, however, we just have to advance further. And that's it. We'll maybe try to make another a couple of these breakthroughs here too, because I was creating myself another line. So we may concentrate troops here and there and try to surround a few divisions. But first let's wait for the troops to move and see how things are turning out all over the place in here. What can I see now? 77,000 troops. on one side and 83,000 troops on another side. So that's 160,000 troops right there that we are soon going to take out. And these troops will be going on to the offensive. Another 68,000. So that's 200,000, more than 200,000, that's another 100,000. As you can see... Maybe 300,000 troops have been destroyed in pockets in the Netherlands, not including another maybe 150,000 dead and uh, maybe... 80,000 unaccounted ones. That's it. They have all been defeated. As you can see, 145,000 Nazi divisions, not division troops in within those divisions, are being wiped out. Hasselman is uh, the leader here but it looks like he was incapable and so they all are going to be wiped out we are starting on offensive here 
and will be starting a few offensives here and there too. Great. We still cannot clear these pockets. 59,000 left. And this operation will be one of the most successful ones. I'm going to reduce the number of troops that we're using in this offensive. Because we simply don't need those troops. And I'm going to send them somewhere else. No. That's it. It's done. All those troops in Netherlands have been completely destroyed. We are moving forward. And so we will be moving forward on the entire front. As you can see our success here, we are very capable of uh, taking all those divisions and we're going to try and squeeze this front line obviously if we won't be squeezed ourselves we should be successful and in here I'm gonna try and uh, push them on entire front I just need to position my troops actually first so that's four divisions Maybe, maybe it's something like five divisions at the in a province. A few there. A few there. We'll see. A lot of a lot of movement is needed. Look at that. They lost so easily to us. Surprised. What about this? In here we were capable of doing just enough damage. Yeah, we have it. It looks like we have these few divisions there too. Everything's going just fine. We'll eat them. Okay. Now two divisions, one division to eighteen. We have to we have to avoid these kind of numbers. It looks to me like um, the Nazis are incapable of uh, creating A very good uh, powerful offensive anymore. Look at that. Leon Trotsky Trotsk has been assassinated. It's still 9 to 40, so it's actually really, really good. I'm going to clear this pocket here. It looks like they are tough, but um, they're at the wrong place. 
the surrounded. One bot. They have one armor division here. And they're obviously in a secret line. So, um, that makes them a very, very tough enemy. I'll need to pour some of these troops down the line. It looks like we have so many troops that I'm a little overwhelmed. Okay. Now things should be just a little bit better. In here, we did manage to clear the pocket. We have ourselves a front line close to Spain and there's a potential a potential pocket for us to develop and uh, we're gonna do just that. I'm sending myself a force. that um, is going to help me to encircle them. Okay, the Nazis are not counter-attacking. They're not doing that just yet. We are going to try to push it up until there. Okay. And you just have to go there. Okay, as you can see, we'll try to create a pocket over there and uh, <clears throat> we'll be advancing here too. Trying. Furthermore, we'll be creating series of offensives onto that side well there is a lot of uh, a lot of possibilities for us okay Let's see just how this offensive in the north plays out. And it looks like it was a breeze for us. We are going to go with these troops into Denmark. see how things look there and all in all we'll just focus on uh, Berlin from here the Berlin isn't far away it's not it looks like in the south we have been stopped by one very very capable 8 panzer division our thrust here was incredible But all in all, they are holding quite firm. Okay. I'll be reducing my exposure. 
Okay, these guys can help out now. And the rest of them just need to go into the actual pocket. Great, this offensive here has been a major success. Look at that. Two, three, maybe, maybe seven, eight, nine, ten divisions, another hundred thousand troops total will be surrounded there. And these armies here should go straight for Berlin. These troops here are going to go into Denmark and liberate it. These troops need to join the front line. And all in all, everything seems to go just fine. For as long as we clear all those pockets, we not we avoid being cut off. Everything's going to be just fine. Great. This pocket is almost completely cleared out of Nazis and uh, <clears throat> that's it six divisions nine divisions ten divisions <clears throat> only three divisions Eight divisions, that's probably a very good reserve. Here we have ourselves another party. Not all of these troops can reach all everything. It looks like there's almost no supplies here. I'm still building the planes. Oh, I'm just clearing what's left, and after that, and after that, we are descending on Berlin. So we're gonna have these two massive spearheads. That's it. I just need. I just need to get the troops into a sort of a fighting fighting stances. We have we have a lot of time. to do whatever we have to do and we'll do it I'm just waiting now for everybody to go where they have to go let's see how Darmark is bearing and uh, it looks like these troops here are completely surrounded. We're gonna go further in. And uh, we'll, we'll see. Night fighting equipment has finished. That will cost us quite a bit. But this will increase our capabilities tremendously to a great level. Okay, we're almost there.
we have spread through half of Germany now. And let's go. Now I just need to develop myself a plan on attacking them. And um, let's do this then. These guys will have to surround the Berlin from the north. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. We'll create a lot of a uh, attack orders <clears throat> that are going to help us ensure that the northern parts of the Berlin are occupied. Now we're gonna go with the western side okay so these troops will go for the south these troops will have to support the divisions in the south and these guys are gonna do the same job they should move everybody out And that's it. I think it should be a piece of cake because uh, the Nazis have lost too much in all of those battles there. Their mark is almost completely liberated. We are not encountering too much resistance. or the resistance that would uh, threaten our attacks let's see how this plan looks like and it looks like we're descending <coughs> on the Nazis with um, on extreme force. <clears throat> We're just suffering from supply issues because everybody moved out obviously. I'm making many random orders to just move forward because I suspect that this is what we need until we see how this front line really looks like. <clears throat> I'm unsure if the Nazis are really that weak because they are incapable of um, stopping our advance so far and if they lose Berlin they won't have anything else to hold on to and so far our battles are uh, in our favor. Denmark has been liberated. Now we'll have to do the same thing with um, <clears throat> Norway. We'll have to save Norway. And to do that I'm going to
to send um, four divisions there. Hopefully those divisions are going to be capable of landing in there. Uh, everybody else <clears throat> is just descending descending on Berlin. The German army is incapable of stopping us there. We are plowing through the north, south and the center. That's how it's going down. We're creating pockets as you can see. Another tank division, a uh, heavy tank division, is being defeated here. They're trying to break through. Actually, two Nats tank divisions are trying to help each other, but. It looks like the luck is not on their side. In here, we are marching through. In the south, uh, we are not making any offenses and the front isn't moving <clears throat> almost at all. The British are hopefully already sending everything they have. And soon we're going to meet up with the Czech Republic. We're having supply issues, but uh, I hope that these supply issues will soon sort itself out. I'm sure that we just need to take a few ports and those ports will transfer whatever, whatever we have to. Now these divisions here, they're surrounded and they must be wiped out. I'm not even concentrating a massive force around Berlin. I suspect that uh, <clears throat> we'll be able to defeat them with these anyway. So I'm creating myself a force here. They do not have troops here. Strangely, they don't. I'm going to close their gates out of Berlin what else soon the first division going to enter the first few divisions going to enter Czech Republic territory that used to be obviously Czech Republic is not anymore we're quite deep into Nazi Germany very deep indeed okay we need this part we have to retake this part and soon we are going to surround